Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipments. So we are at a farmstead way out a ways. I'm, I'm not forget, even forget the closest town. Let's call it Pratt. This is a place that we've go, I'm not going to call it an abandoned farmstead, but it's a place that we're going to clean up the contents of the place. Um, so we're just going to do a walk through the day of everything that we got so this is a one shed old grain evader an auger there's an axle in that corner but you can't see it's too dark and then one thing you can I can, I'm not gonna crawl all the way back in here a really nice old uh, Chevy truck. I can't quite crawl back far enough in there. Besides, there's a couple pianos over in the corner. Huh? 4400 Chevy. So, but there's so much more on this place. So, this is just kind of starts the game out. So, that's what's in the first barn. Much more to go, guys. That is a really nice, that's a real nice very clean grain ovator so okay so some camera issues but we'll go backtrack a little bit here okay yep everything's good so in this barn I can push myself into here it's an old Willie's Jeep and back in the corner there and the way back is an old generator yeah I think I can get a shot from over here See if we can get a better shot. That Willie's Jeep's been in there for a little while. At least I think that's a Willie's Jeep. What a goodies on the wall. And then a minute ago, got to backtrack a little bit because I don't know if the camera was working or not. But there's a bunch of equipment over here. I found the... Oh, I didn't even see that. Old drag scoop. A little chopper. There's the top to that to that Jeep or Land Rover or whatever it is. And then there's this old military truck. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. And before somebody says something in the video about me being out of breath, I want to just state for the record right now that it's a mile and a half hike back here from the road. Also, I'm not out of breath. I sound like I'm out of breath, but I'm not. Alrighty. Um, 
I breathe very heavy. I burnt my lungs years ago and the chemicals. And so I breathe super heavy and it sounds like I'm out of breath. Yes, I'm a, I'm a big guy and it takes a lot to carry me around, but I am not nearly as out of shape as half some of those comments on these videos when I'm walking make it sound like I'm him. But anyways, back to the fun stuff. I think we got some cool shit back here. There's a railroad sign. I think that's where the junk pile was. Oh. Okay. That's all the good stuff. All right, so the good building that we are coming up that I was wanting to show you, they have it locked up on us right now, that uh, there's a 1066, which you guys will see later, an 806, a combine, a, a Ford 801, two grain drills, and that stuff, but you'll all see that, hmm? A little Chevy Love truck, um, but they didn't come unlock the building for us, so we I guess we're going to have to show you later. There's an, uh, um, you know, I'm trying to see what, I guess, Ford. I guess it's a Ford, yeah. So, but unfortunately, I'm not going to get to show you all the good stuff we bought, the high quality stuff that's going to end up on the lot because those tractors are really nice. Um, they've been well taken care of. So, besides sitting for a few years and low tires and stuff, but this place doesn't near have the places, stuff that we had down in Wellington when we cleaned up that place. That kind of sucks. That was going to be a big part of the video, so. But let's go back and check this out real quick. Well, let's see. International old chisel. International pull type combine. Header's gone. Motor's there. Wonder what the, what that yellow box was. Zero. Yeah, zero. Some, gum. Some kind of gum machine. Some kind of gum dispenser. Or something. All right, car guys, what is this? Hmm. Not for sure what that is, Joe. Any idea? I think it says custom on the side there, but course 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 ale that that Chevy you can tell we are not car guys gave me a gave me that much of a tractor and I could tell you you're making model sold okay Go, okay. All right, so don't worry about that stuff. We're gonna go 
this way. This is some rough terrain. I mean, I've done worse, but... Okay. Well, wonder what all. Okay. Buildings caved. There's a baler in the trees over there. That is mine. Oh, okay, so I kind of knew these were in here, so we're going to check this out. Yeah. Oh. Little M crawlers. These things are cool. Super collectible. things I think me and Joe were talking we think we might have found a home for those already so that's good so and then this is just but if they're interested, shoot us a price. yeah I mean if you're interested shoot me a price on them I mean you know they're gonna go to the highest bidder they're both M's I'm not for sure of the years or whatever so they look pretty complete the only thing I've noticed missing One's missing a mag. They're both missing the cap for the uh, for the little the little tank, but everything else looks to be there. Uh, I can't tell you how good the undercarriage is on them. So, or strong plow, von Brunt cedar, little cedar, horse drawn. Yeah. Let's see if my big old ass can get through here. Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh! Thorns! Oh. Okay. Got a little pointy there. I got the point. And not in the good... Woo! That's a big old tree that came tumbling down. Oh. Okay. Minneapolis plow, four bottom Minneapolis plow. Yep, I 
think that might be it. I've seen this stack sticking up in the air and it makes me want to, I was like, what's that? So I've wandered all the way down here to find out what, what this stack up, what this stack is sticking up in the air. All through all that, stumbling through there, crawling over the trees to find that it's just sticking on a piece of angle iron. I'm not for sure. Yeah. Yep. There could be some more. Let's walk back down there. Okay. 